This video is for the many viewers who asked me to show my extensive Thomas collection. I'm going to show the good, the bad, and the ugly of this amazing toy franchise. Every Thomas that I own has a story behind it, and I'll show you my personal favourites. I will also detail a tip on collecting very hard to find Thomas and Friends toys. This will be an eye opener for many. Let's also have a peep at my HO wheel converted trains and my fake Thomas stuff as well. And let's have a chat about a massive Thomas contest that I'm pulling together. Well, my collection started more by accident than design after becoming notorious for a video I made many years ago. Those who got to know me after this video thought I was an avid Thomas fan or model railway buff. In the end, I surrendered to the forces around me. Sure, many will laugh at a middle-aged man collecting these toys, but I can assure you they have given me back the joys of being young again. It's all in the magic power attached to that little blue engine. I'll freely admit the Ertl Thomas is my favourite, but as we all know, Thomas comes with a variety of faces and shapes. I'm starting to appreciate all these different Thomases, but let's have a peek at the ones that I think have missed the mark. Well, first up is the Mega Bloks Thomas, and all I will say is fail. You can have your say on this, Thomas. That's what the comments are all about. If ever there was a Thomas that missed the mark in so many ways, this is a perfect example. I've kept it as a curiosity. It's weird. I still see this in the shops, but I don't see anyone buying it. Tell me, do you have a Mega Bloks Thomas? Next up is the Take Along or Take and Play Thomas. Now many people would like this one, but I always relate this one back to the version that was before it, which was the Ertl Thomas. Having kids myself, I understand this is a fantastic toy in the fact that it's got magnets and its size and the way it plays, but the way it looks is disturbing compared to what the Ertl Thomas looked like. But for me, it's squashed up look and distortions leave me very disappointed with this Thomas. Next is a weird one, the all metal Thomas wooden motorized. This is a fail Thomas in my books as well, for a variety of reasons, just for the fact that the wooden Thomas is so right. Uh, why do we need motorised wooden Thomases, which are all made of metal? Again, I keep one as a curiosity's sake and part of my collection, but I can't let my heart wrap around this Thomas, considering the plain wooden ones are so good. Next is a tiny, made in China, Galane Thomas that I found in a box which had one lolly in it. I paid $15 for this Thomas, and it's about one third bigger than a Pez Thomas. This Thomas was not visible in the lolly box that it was in, and I see why now. It's got a good face, but its body is a write-off. And now for the good Thomas. The Thomas Wooden is a classic. This one is from the Thomas and Jet Engine combo, and as I found out, many people who entered my competitions would enter with wooden Thomases. It became clear to me that the wooden Thomas range is extremely popular. The Pez Thomas. This is so cute, so cheap, and it's so right. This tiny Thomas has a mojo many of the larger Thomases lack. It's such a simple toy, which can easily be turned into so many different Thomas-related things. The track master or Tommy Thomas. But hold on, this is a fake Thomas. Even in faker form, this Thomas has lines and looks which conforms to a stunning Thomas style. And some will even argue the faker has more details than the real franchise Thomas. I keep a keen eye out for good looking fake Thomas franchise. Now look at this stunner of a Tommy Thomas, found in a large Ultimate Thomas set, decked out in beautiful metallic blue with features that others don't have. It's a great example of how a slight change of paint can transform a classic shape. What's this? Here's an intruder in the ranks. It's my action chugger dressed as Thomas. It's Action Thomas. You leave a hate Action Thomas or you will love him. I have a very interesting video coming soon of my son choosing between Action Thomas and the real Thomas. Not even I could predict the outcome. The Ertl Thomas, an inexpensive metal and plastic toy which captures the real Thomas look in classic form. Its only weakness is the couplings and wheels. It's getting more and more difficult to find these Ertl Thomas toys and collectors know they are a much sought after item. The first version of these toys came with paper faces. This style is very difficult to find now. My paper face Thomas has links to a much larger Ertl collection I have. It's a worthwhile story to tell. I noticed at my local charity shop all sorts of rare Thomas items would appear. The two I keenly collect are the Ertl and the early dark blue track Tommy. I asked the staff there to keep an eye out for these items and I carefully instructed them on what each style looked like. We came to an agreement 
of a dollar apiece as long as I don't on-sell the items. In very short time, and to my total amazement, these are the Ertl trains they collected for me. A valuable lesson I learned here was being honest and open about the rarity of these toys. The staff at the charity centre were just happy these toys were getting a loving home with a genuine collector. There are many Ertls here that I did not have, and there are a few that I don't even know the name of. There's even some that I don't remember being for sale in the shops during the 1990s. How well do you know your Thomas characters? Can you name the ones that I don't know the name of? I can't even remember seeing these characters in any of the Thomas videos. I'm really glad to have a Diesel 10, and I'm not sure why it has a mustard paint scheme. On a Google image search, I seem to see it either has olive green or brown. And look how big that nasty claw is on top. When compared to the Take Along Diesel 10, you can see a massive difference in size. Almost like somebody shrunk the Take Along Diesel 10. The other notable difference is in the face. The Ertl looks far more menacing with its sunken eyes. The Take Along's face misses the mark. And now you can see the difference in colour between these two models. One of the really nice things the charity shop found for me was this really beaten up Ertl Diesel. Now if only this toy could talk, imagine the stories it could tell of the plate of the head of its adoring owner. I've never seen a toy with such a battered paint scheme and tortured exterior. I've got a lot of time for toys which are left in its natural state of decay. There's much more character in this than a toy found in mint in box. I've also got a small selection of Ertl toys, but all of these have got HO wheels attached to them. Those little Ertl wheels which are so useless have been removed. There's also some take-alongs in there that I did some wheel conversions to, and some which have had modifications to them to tell a story. Nearly all of my coal trucks got converted to LP gas cylinders, but notice how I've got a whole bunch of coal trucks again via the lovely ladies who collect for me at the charity shop. You'd be surprised how many YouTube mails I get of people asking, Oh Leo, can you show us? your Ertl models again, we love to see them. And here they are, all frozen in time. And I do sometimes wonder, when the day when I'm not around, who will have these toys? I'm just hoping that they all go to a loving owner. I know my converted Ertl models may be keenly sought after by some collectors. Here's a curious item which came via the charity shop, and it's got some links, I feel, to the Thomas Wooden metal motorized train. I looked at the details inside this train, I looked at the way the rubber's on the wheels, and it's as if the same company has produced these two trains. I know the YouTube audience always knows about their trains, and maybe you've got one of these. Maybe you can tell me a little bit more about it. I have a curiosity in collecting fake Thomas stuff, that stuff which isn't authorised by the franchise, and I'm pretty picky. I don't buy everything that I see. If I see something which is a little bit unusual, or it's high quality, and it's a knockoff, I'll buy it. As some of you may know, if you won a contest from me, I may throw something from this selection in as a bit of a bonus. And it's not stuff that I hold that close to my heart. I've used this as a focus for one of my videos, Thomas vs Thomas, where we look at a fake Thomas versus a real franchise one. In a little while I'm going to do a video and I'm going to look at these talking, take and play, or take along Thomas toys. I'll be attaching a look at these onto the video I'm working on at the moment, which is the Totally Tidmouth Megaset, which the box keeps telling me is great value for money. But really, do these classic little toys need to be loaded with batteries and have circuits that talk to us? Is this really important in the way children play? Or is it another spin of marketing to sell more toys? 
I'm planning on having a big contest sometime in the future where the winners get to choose the prizes that they want. The kids have told me clearly they don't want cash prizes. My initial idea was to set up a challenge to do a Thomas Chuggers mashup, that is model make either franchise into an opposition's colours. But I'm hearing that the Chuggers are not available in some countries, so please tell me if you don't see Chuggers in your country, particularly the USA. I'm also inviting you to comment on this video if you have an idea for a video response style contest. As you can see, I've got lots of toys to give away. Well, what you saw was only part of my Thomas collection, and I've actually got something to give away to a keen collector. The charity shop found for me these very curious Hornby Thomas characters. I'm willing to give these to someone who proves to me that they collect these and are not going to flog them on eBay. So you're going to have to prove to me you're a genuine collector. Thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. A little bit of a strange one from me. But, um, I know there's some out there who will really enjoy it.